You know by now it's Veterans Day and the San Diego Gulls have a special game tonight honoring our service members at Military Appreciation Night here to tell us more about all of this. Gulls play by play broadcaster Andy Zilch back with us here. Welcome back. Nice hey. to see you got the Thanks beard you. going. I mean, yeah. hopefully this is like the playoff beard. I know the season just started, but if you, by the time the season's over, it might be down to here. ZZ Top and strumming a guitar here soon. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, so let's talk about uh, first Veterans Appreciation Night. I mean, look at this. This is what the Gulls are going to be wearing. Yep. Look yeah. at these. So we're going to have that, those bad boys okay. tonight. Yeah, and we're actually going to have a raffle for those. So oh, really? You can get your raffles. I believe it's outside section 10. Okay. So you can get your hands on one of these game worn from awesome. the players. No way. So after yes. the game, they're going to take it off, yep. and then eventually whoever wins we'll that raffle. get the raffle, yes, correct. That is so cool. Yes. It's always so neat um, each year to see what the gulls do differently. They kind of yeah. keep it a secret, and then they unveil it tonight. Uh, but we're giving you an early sneak peek. Yes. Um, they get really creative with these these uniforms. It's always fun to see. And that's one thing I like too is is we keep the look fresh. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, we've done the snow camo before. We've right. done the red, white, and blue. Yep, I remember so that one. So we've done a really good job of keeping it fresh and making it look unbelievable. Yeah, and then so you got the trucker hats here. Yes. Take a look at these. Come on in closer, Brad. So you the got first the mesh back yep. trucker hats. These are these are something that fans can get themselves when they show up tonight. Correct. First 7,000 fans in the arena get that hat. Okay. brought to you by Indian Motorcycle San Diego. You got their logo on one side yeah. and then you got the USA you got on the, the other flag. side. Here on this Veterans Day, so important that we uh, see that as much as we can, honor it. And uh, really, that's really what this game is about, right? So right. for the veterans, can you talk about how, what the goals are doing for the veterans that show up? So what we've done is we've dispersed tickets all throughout the area to military bases, to the U.S. So we've donated over 1,500 tickets. Since we've been here in San Diego on our Military Appreciation Weekend, we've now donated over 20,000 tickets. Wow. And that's for some of these uh, some of these people, they even haven't been to a game. Maybe right. they can't afford it. Um, but this is a way to honor them, their yes. service, get them out and get them part of this crowd. Because once they see what the Gulls have to offer and all the action and all the fan base and how ro loud and roaring it can get in there, yes. especially after a goal, yep. um, they're pretty pumped up. Yeah, it is. You know, first of all, it is a way for us to say thank you yeah. uh, to them, first and foremost. And then, you know, invite us into what we showcase to our fans. Yeah. You know, we got uh, the new $5 Blue Line Blonde that we yes. have tonight. Their so, own beer. Yep. So the Gulls beer is going to be available uh, for five dollars until the end of the second intermission. Awesome. So fans, come on in. We're, we're, we're happy to have you. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the team this year. Uh, yes. Struggled a lot of the gate. I think we're you know a little, little below five hundred right now. But what was really impressive was the other night against the Silver Knights. Seven zip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where was that in the beginning <laughs> of the season? At some point you yeah. got to wake up, and I'm glad that uh, we're we're buzzing the light here now. Yeah. I mean this team has so much talent, and it was such a shame too to see them not get rewarded for their play. You know, yeah. they, they were really chomping at the bit. You ran into some really good goaltenders, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you have a team that you can expose, and the goals were just lethal earlier this week against Henderson. That's great. Um, and so it's Bakersfield tonight, Correct. right? Okay, so yes. what's the what's the game matchup looking like? Well, Bakersfield's a really heavy team, so uh, yeah. if you want to see some big hits, maybe a fight or two, I mean, I'm talking the Lango here, so a lot of fans that really like a good yeah. hockey game, this is going to be the game that you're going to want to go to. Why do I feel like Whenever you're in a fight and you're wearing something like this, you know, the, the punches are going to land a little more accurately, and you're fighting for a little bit more I than just so. your uh, AHL hockey team. Might even have the opponent's blood dribble on that. Who knows? <laughs> Which would just be appropriate, um, you know, given the, the camo theme here tonight. Yeah. Uh, so the team looking pretty good. We've got a lot of good pieces in place. Roy Summer, uh, our first year yes. coach. Um, how is he getting them pumped up? How have you heard his relationship has been with the players? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, when you bring a coach who's got over 800 wins in this league into the locker room, yeah. Uh, a lot of ears are perking up. And I think one of our assistant coaches said it perfectly earlier in the year. He said, God gave us two eyes and two ears for a reason, and I'm using them with Coach Sommer. Oh, okay. I thought that I like was a that. really good quote. So, yeah. so uh, it's a lot of knowledge that's getting floated around there. And uh, yesterday, Coach Sommer said Rome wasn't built in a day. So True. it was really tough for him to watch the team not get those wins earlier in the year, but now they're going to start coming. I, I've always said, Andy, I think you have one of the toughest jobs uh, for for play-by-play -play because – some of the, at the NFL and NHL level, these these play-by-play -play announcers are used to the 12, 15, 20 guys that they talk about nonstop. I mean, they know them like their family. You consistently have to learn new players coming in 
in the AHL, and then they oftentimes get sent up to the Ducks. You're constantly learning about these new guys. Congratulations to you for that. <laughs> but who are some of these new guys that you're really impressed with? Yeah, uh, well, we got uh, a defenseman who we were just talking about big hits, Josh Healy. He can mm -hmm. throw some big hits around. Okay. We got really good talent. There's a player by the name of Justin Kirkland who's a really good goal scorer. Okay. And then Chase DeLeo that you remember oh, yeah. from a few years ago. He's back. So, okay. so we got uh, a good mix of some familiar names, good yeah. mix of some new names, and then Luke Ashto Stall on Nets. I don't think it gets much better than that. Chase DeLeo is our California kid. He right? is. Yeah, from uh, not too far away here. We got another Irvine. one too. Rocco Grimaldi who's okay. also from Anaheim, there California. There you go. So all you at home that are wondering, well, you know, hockey mm -hmm. in California, it can happen. That's you can right. make it to the pros. That's right. Okay, so a uh, big deal tonight. Show up tonight. You can still get tickets. Plenty Correct. of tickets available. Walk us through where we need to go and how we get that. So you can go to SanDiegoGalls.com. You can also call 844-GO-GALLS or just simply show up at the Pachanga Arena. We'll get, we'll get you a seat. And I love uh, one of the highlights of each game after the seven goals we're going to score tonight, <laughs> yeah. is when the military members and veterans stand up. It's right. literally one of the loudest things that happened that night. Yes, yeah, that's true. That's going to happen tonight. And yeah. we also do that every game. We have a military member that we honor every yeah. game. It's around the third period, I yeah. think. So somebody gets uh, recognized and everybody in the arena stands up yeah. and gives a round of applause. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. It's fantastic. I think I might head out to the game with the boys tonight, Andy. Right, hope we'll to see you there. there. Hey, thanks for coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Military Appreciation Night. Get out to your Gulls game. Support your local hockey team.